Hi, this is Kathy from Ladies Stamp a Lot. I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator in Chesapeake, Virginia. And today I wanted to show you how to make this card using the Snow Wonder stamp set and coordinating dies. And I especially wanted to um, show you this technique of how I did that snow in the background of this card. So if you haven't seen my other videos, using the Snow Wonder stamp set and the Snow Time dies. I made a series of 12 cards, and if you stay to the end, I will show you those other cards. But today I wanted to sh um, get started on this one. So you're gonna start with a piece of two and, a, two and three quarters by four basic black card stock, and we're going to ink this up with Versamark ink. So you're just going to take your stamp pad and go over this black piece with the Versamark. And the Versamark is just a watercolor um, to make like a watermark stamping. So it's clear. And then I'm going to take the white embossing powder and just going to take a teeny little bit and sprinkle it over this paper and you don't need very much and you just uh, i probably got it too globby there if you hold it up and just let it drop that's all you really need and that even might be too much i'm going to see if i can shake some of that off oh it'll have to be is what it is Okay, so then I'm going to take my heat tool and just heat that up. Okay, now when you heat emboss, you don't want to um, get too close to the paper to scorch it or anything. And all I can say is when you watch it, you can just tell when it's done. It kind of like turns from the, the um, powder into shiny sprinkles. So um, that's, that, that's that. And I'm sorry, that looks really globby, but it'll be okay. Just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so the next layer is a uh, real red three by four and a quarter. And this is gonna be the mat that goes behind this. So I am going to just adhere that with my stamp and seal. You could use whatever adhesive you like the best. I am getting to get used to this stamp and st seal. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that down with an even border showing all around. Now, the next piece is a piece of four by five and a quarter designer series paper. And this is from the Heartwarming Hugs um, pack of paper from the um, 2020 August to December holiday catalog. But of course, you could use whatever paper you have. And we're going to adhere that to a regular card base, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. So that's just going to be our first layer. So both of it's so hard to choose which paper to um, which side of the paper to use, but I'm going to use the one that had a little bit of red showing through. Oops, and I got a little bit of I overdid it there, so I'm going to take that off. Sadly, we don't sell this anymore, but I've gotten them at the Dollar Tree or any art supply store. It's a little rubbery eraser for little adhesive boo boos. Okay, so this is going to go down like this. And then this piece is going to go on here again. I like to center everything and I want to think about which one I want to show. And I think I'm going to kind of hide those blobs at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this. Again, you could use your liquid glue or whatever you like to keep that on there. And I am just an eyeballer. You can use this pattern to sort of help me get it straight. Okay, so then I went ahead and already um, stamped the snowman and colored him with my blends. So I'm going to pop him up right there. And then I also stamped a greeting from the stamp set 
and I cut it out with the dies. And I don't know if you can see, but I love this die. It has a nice little um, embossed edge all around. Makes it really elegant. So I'm going to try to hide my blob. So I'm going to probably put this up a little bit higher than I did on this card. And let me see where my snowman will go. I'm going to put him a little bit higher on the top of the card as well. So I, I'm going to attach him using Stampin' Dimensionals, which I already put on the back before the video started to save time. And again, I did color these with blends stamped with Memento. So I'm just going to put him pretty close to the top because I want to hide my mistake down here. So again, this is also attached with dimensionals. You could at attach that flat and then just uh, use this with the dimensionals. Um, but I like it like this. So I'm just going to I think if I do that, it'll be okay. So there's that. And that's basically it. Now I also added some of these, all the trimming embellishments. This is um, again in the August 2020 mini catalog. Just adds a little bit of something. And these are um, a matte finish. They're not shiny, but they just add a little something extra. And then for the inside of my card, I always like to um, decorate and this stamp set has both greetings so it has an inside greeting as well and then I have the trees there so that is that how easy was that now let me show you the other cards that I made like I said I would and if you're interested in making any of these I do have some um videos on my youtube channel and I also have a written tutorial with basic measurements if you'd like that just email me and let me show you my email address, and it should be linked into this video wherever you see it. And I would be happy to send you the tutorial on how to make these cards. So here's one. I love this plaid one, and I also made this one different ways um, without the label. Just a little greeting down here. And then this one didn't even have a greeting. You could use it for birthday or for thank you. Here's one I made with the um, designer series paper. Very simple and just really makes a lot of nice cards. This is a Z fold. I do have a video how to do that fold. It is not hard at all. And then this one's a little bit more detailed with, uh, if you can see, I had torn some paper here and um, added some embellishment. And then this is made with designer series paper. And this, this stamp set also has, or the dies has a, um, embossing die in there which is really nice and now this one is a front door and I made this because I wanted to use every set in the stamp set and so that little wreath is in the stamp set and this video for this door is an exclusive to my newsletter subscribers so if you want the tutorial for this you need to be on my um, email list and then just request it and say you want it, want the video and then I'll send you the link Okay, so there you go. I want you to um, give this one a try. It's really not that hard. It really is a nice wow card. So thanks for stopping by, and I hope you will give this one a try.